Last time on Fire Emblem Three Houses. I don't know, Sateth, you excited for the ball? No, I am not. Why would you think I was excited for the ball? Well, I was looking in your room earlier and I saw you... <laughs> you saw nothing. Hey guys, Raiden here and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. So, last episode we got a lot done. On top of doing all the exploration I wanted to do, we also managed to make Bernadetta a dancer. Well, I mean, she's not a dancer yet, but she will be. Uh, to people asking why I specifically chose Bernadetta, honestly, I was just looking for the person who wanted to be the dancer the least. Because you're allowed to walk up to people and ask them, like, hey, do you want to be a dancer? And most people were like, I don't think I'm really suited, or they were just like, no, not me. At first, I thought it was going to be Ingrid, because Ingrid was kind of like, no, I can't dance, please don't make me. But then I walked up to Bernadetta's door, and she started having a freak out, and I was like, yes, you're our dancer. I knew it all along. And she's like, why are you picking on me? I don't understand. <laughs> like, it, it, was, it was hilarious, but yes. That's why I did that. Also, to all the people freaking out that, uh, I'm still wearing these weird school jerseys on everyone. Um, first of all, yeah, I'm gonna change them back soon. I can't right now unless I go exploring, which I'm not going to this month, so you're just gonna have to deal with it for now. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. I'm playing this game and I used these, like, slightly, I won't say slightly changed because they're whole outfit, but I used, like, this kind of themed optional outfit and people are like, I, I don't really like this, it's rude in my immersion. And then I play a Tales game and I'll put like glasses or something very mellow on a character and people are just like, why don't you just go ape shit? Why doesn't Rokuro look like a clown? <laughs> but yeah, I do agree. It does make some of the cutscenes look rather weird, although I am not taking this outfit off of Nox. This is way better than his original design. Honestly, in my opinion. I think like, his original design was just so bizarre, you know? Um... His armor doesn't really make sense. Like, everyone's wearing this normal looking armor, and for some reason, Nox's default, uh, like, look looks like it's some sort of special holy armor. Like, you know, it looks like he walked up to Guts and asked him for the scraps left over from the Berserker armor. It just doesn't look like something like a normal mercenary would have. I like the design, though, I think it looks pretty cool, but at the same time, where did Gerald even get armor like that? Like, it doesn't even. It doesn't look like normal armor, is all I'm trying to say. Another thing so far, and I, I like to be very open about uh, supports and characters I like, it's very interesting, because I'm seeing a lot of praise for Sylvain. I'm seeing a lot of like, oh, I don't usually like the skirt chaser archetype, but I like Sylvain. Um, here's the thing. I think so far, obviously, the more supports you do, the better you get to know someone. I think Sylvain is my least favorite character in the entire game, just from the two supports I've done with him. And I, while I do agree that he definitely has this darker layer behind him, uh, considering his brother and all the pressure he, all the pressure he has, I guess, from having a crest, and how he feels like it makes people around him seem like they don't really want him for him. Well, I understand that at the same time. There are characters with way worse problems that are still not being assholes right now. Like, look how Ignatz and Raphael are getting along. I mean, Raphael's parents are dead. I mean, that was from a very young age, so it's not recent, of course, but they're moving along. Flame got kidnapped and almost probably died. They're moving on. And we have several people in our houses that are cases of abuse, it seems, from people like Bernadetta to Marianne. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it was actual abuse. Maybe Bernadetta's because she was tied up to a chair, so probably? But they, they... There's so many people in this school with problems. But instead of taking those problems, picking yourself up, and becoming a better person, Sylvain's just like, no, I'm just gonna be an asshole. <laughs> which is... which is some, like, I like Shinon, so it's kind of weird that I don't like Sylvain, but I guess it's because Shinon is a cocky asshole, where Sylvain is just... He hasn't done anything to even make me remotely like him. So we'll see in the future, but as right now, he's on that low tier for me. And once again, I'm not saying Sylvain's like a bad character or anything, or not well written. There's obviously a lot about him I don't know yet, which we'll figure out in the future. But he's right now he's just not among my favorite. Let's get a move on, shall we? Um 
I'm actually gonna... Oh, God, we have so many paralogs to go through, by the way. I see a ton of people like, Zeno, you should recruit this person so you can get this paralog. You should recruit this person so you can get this paralog. It's like, guys, I already have five different paralogs, and I have two months to do them all. <laughs> Granted, I have plenty of time per month to complete a paralogue, but I'd like to focus more so on pushing people towards their advanced classes, I guess I'd say, or pushing people towards that final stretch of abilities and things that they need to progress. Um, as far as what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to focus on some of these higher level uh, paralogues because I feel like they... I feel like they're going to have more of an effect. There's also a lot of people being very indescript about a cutoff point in the game. And judging by how all the paralogs are available up until 2.22, I'm guessing that's that cutoff point where whatever happens and I can't go back, so... Thanks for telling me, at least. <laughs> so I've actually decided I'm going to do these higher level paralogs right now. It's not that I doubt that these lower levels ones are interesting, like I really am curious about Felix's, but these ones are level 17, so we will immediately benefit from the XP gain, while some of these level 13 ones, even some of our lowest level people, won't get a whole ton. So, let's go ahead and do the Sateth and Flane one first. Brother, please wait! For the last time, Flane, the answer is no. Flane, why are you, you wearing a such a ridiculous class, outfit? I must come. <laughs> why aren't you wearing your school uniform? Everyone wears this. You're just not hip. What What do you mean? No, I can't be out of touch. It's the children who are wrong. By the way, judging from the comment section, not a lot of people watch past the last credit scene in the last video. <laughs> you will do no such thing. I am not going there to pay respects at the cemetery, but to do battle. With you there, I will be beside myself with worry. It will be easier for me to fight if I know you are safe. But I must. Oh, professor, you did you just, just the right time? I didn't even walk from off the screen. I visibly saw myself pop in there. <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm just uh traveling through dimensions. Just visit some angry guy named Eisen. He's a lot like me, honestly. I really liked him. And there's this other guy with this dumb-looking hat. You look like a nerd. This hat's not even as cool as mine. And then there's this other kid in a giant robot, and he was screaming about how his family died. We get it, Professor. Just, just saying. What's going on? Surely it must be fate that you have appeared at a time of my greatest need. My dear brother is about to set forth on a most dangerous mission. A mission? Indeed. The Western Church is attempting to seize sacred ground by force. With this action, they are no longer merely believers of a different creed. They are a dangerous threat that cannot be ignored. I see. We cannot allow the holy artifacts enshrined there to fall into their hands. I too wish to be of use to the Church. And I do admit, I am terribly worried about my brother. Wow. I thought, like, I thought the worry was kind of a one-way thing going on, but... They are worried about each other way too much. I mean, too much, because they're, like, family, but still. No matter my protests, he will not allow me to come. Professor, this is where you can help. Will you accompany us both on this expedition? Once again, I will take out my students on a random mission of moral peril without asking any of the staff. Well, I guess Zatap is staff, but why me? If you are there to protect me, my brother's fears will be allayed. Isn't that right, brother? I suppose your aid would indeed be useful, yes. I knew it! Please, Professor, will you join us? Of course. Wonderful. Let us depart at once. No one's departing on this day. It is only I. Uh, no, actually, everyone's departing. I don't know, even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> what is this map? Is this a map we have yet to play on? Are those... Hold on. It, are these ocean... Oh, no, it's shoal. Terrain that hinders movement has no effect on fly... Okay. I thought we were going back to FE8 and seeing some pirates walking around on the ocean. 
I'm kind of sad there actually isn't a pirate class now that I think about it. Anyways, what are we dealing with here? Um, we have a priestess here, or a priest? Can't really tell. They have a leaven sword, so that's nice. I'll have a third leaven sword. And no one's using them. And this one has a black pearl, which increases charm by two. That'll be nice. Um, uh, what is this? Just some ruins, just some glowing gravestones that are of no import. Oh, hey, look, in advance. Okay. Uh, well, this mission doesn't seem like it's gonna be anything, so we'll be right back when the mission is over. You heretics who defile our goddess! Um, the sacred coast belongs to us, the Western Church. You are the heretics! Be gone from here at once! Seth, you can't just call people heretics! I, I can't? Is that- is that an offensive term now? But, but Lady Rhea says it all that just because Rhea does it doesn't mean it's a good thing to do! Silence, dog of the apostate! Prepare to receive our righteous blades! What about the South Church? In the I will East Church? The monument. Everyone else should focus on removing the surrounding enemies. Maybe we should look to the Northwest Church. They might be nice. Wait, hold on. Why is. Oh, I never changed Flane's class from, uh. Just whatever it was. From being a priest, so I guess that's just her default outfit she's wearing on the beach. Which kind of fits. Okay, let's murder everyone. Wait, why are these people running over there instead of towards us? Well, whatever, they're gonna die. Oh, sick! Bernie leveled her archer. Oh, I get it now. Or mastered it, so she can now keep hit plus 20. Oh shit, but her bow broke. I wasn't paying enough attention. Damn it, we're gonna have to fix that. I just came to the gripping realization. The crushing realization. That I didn't wish to come to. And that is I'll that, despite best. the beach looking fun, despite it being a place where you're supposedly supposed to have fun in the sun, it is just a desert map that looks really nice. That is all it is. I will get stronger. Nice growth, Ingrid. It is our duty to worship Saint Kehoe. Okay. We will not allow heretics to come near. All right. <laughs> Sorry to say, but you're doing a. Oh, okay. I underestimated that. Let's go back in time, just a little tiny bit, because I apparently did not look oh. at the health values right. Okay, now you it die. Is our duty to worship Saint <laughs> I love how she repeats it. <laughs> Nox is just like, I know, you said it already. She's like, have I? The silver swords look rad. Stronger, huh? And we got the leaven sword. Like it was for the sake of the goddess. But I wanted that leaven sword, Stay even focused. though I don't need it. So sorry. That's how it that's how it goes. The goddess protects us. Yep. We will never yield to the likes of you. I'm sure she will. Defenseless, are we? <sighs> yeah, that's not happening. I'm sorry, friend. <gasps> Try this on for <laughs> that's really not happening. Ingrid is not in the mood. Goddess. Have you abandoned us? Apparently so. Heretics. The power of the true servants of the goddess. May we need to stop throwing this word around. It's starting to lose its meaning. Stay focused. Alright, so... I've killed basically everyone on the map by this point. I'm not really worried about this guy.
I've almost gotten everyone to level 20 just about. It's just some of these other skills I have to worry about training them in. Let's just do this. Well, we just kicked a priest to death. Advanced seal. Okay, Seta, if you take this last one. Then we're done. That is all. That is the last of them. Flane, will you place some flowers at the monument? Oh, so this is supposed to be that monument. Of course, brother. That is what I came here to do. I know they're talking about graves, but those graves look kind of, um... They look kind of cursed. <laughs> Felix's motivation is maxed out. Renown increased. You successfully completed the paralogue and earned the battalion. Ooh, Wyvern Company. And Sethlin Monks. Well, I'm glad that went well. Your assistance is most appreciated. I can only hope that the Western Church will now see reason and abandon this place. But just to be safe, I have retrieved the holy artifacts. We cannot risk them falling into their hands. Oh, shoot. What is... I will entrust them to you. Two of them? I guess it's supposed to be one for Sedeth and then one for Flame. I must confess, despite the situation, it was a pleasure to return here. This coast has a certain sentimental significance to my sister and me. Sentimental significance? Yes. This stone monument is not merely here to commemorate St. Keyhole. It is also the grave of my wife. You had a wife? You are safe now, Mother. Finally, you may find peace. Wait, what? Mother... Wife, but you also... I am so confused right now. I am so, I have so many questions. I'm not even gonna dive into it. I'm not. Your mother is also buried here? <sighs> I suppose you have earned the right to know. But this must remain between us. Okay. Flame is actually my daughter. My late wife and her mother are the same person. What? Really? Okay. Uh, then why are you- why are you posing her as your little sister then? Uh... I suspect it is much? And here I thought we had hidden it skillfully. There are many who would seek to harm Flane due to the unique blood she bears. Wait, why didn't you tell us about this before? I feel like you should tell me. What do you mean unique blood? Falsifying her identity is necessary to conceal her from such individuals. Mercifully, I happen to look quite young for my age. We make rather convincing siblings, do we not? That's true enough. Mother loved the coast so much. She and I came here together often. Fishing was her favorite pastime. I used to sit and watch while she cast her line. I remember it fondly. You did so love to eat the fish she caught as well. Fish is my favorite food, it is true. Doing no small part to Mother. That's why she's obsessed with fish. Oh. I still come here to fish from time to time, using the skills my wife taught me. It reminds me how deeply I appreciate those years. And how I wish I could return to them. We cannot turn back the clock, Father. We must live our lives fully, in the present moment. <sighs> You're right. That is what she always said, isn't it? Dwell too much on the past, and you may be unable to move forward. Come then. Let us return home. Goodbye, Mother. I love you. I shall bring flowers again for you next time. We got the Spear of Assault and the Cadaceous Staff. Okay, so 
Oh, it's an anti-cavalry spear, a sacred weapon, Crest of Chol or Sikol, that restores HP every turn. Effect increased with Crest. Okay, so anyone else can use it, but if you have that specific Crest, which none of us do but Flane, it's better. Or wait. Is that Flane's? No, I think this is actually Flane's. A sacred staff linked to the Crest of Sethlin. Magic attack range plus one. Restores HP every turn. Oh! No, I do not want to discard these. Send a convoy. Send a convoy. Well, that's awesome. One small complaint I have about these battles is you can't promote people in between the battles. Like, you're not allowed to do the certifications, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Alright, now let's go do this other one, which includes Ash and Catherine. Which is kind of a weird one, but okay, let's see this. There you are. I have a request for you. A request? It has to do with that plot to assassinate Lady Rhea. The bishop leading the Western Church was somehow involved. And speaking of the Western Church, there was also that incident in which one of the more extreme factions tried to occupy sacred land. So, th this game actually solves another problem I've had with past Fire Emblem games, and that is that... Because of the fact that the paralogs are not tied to your future children in any way, like they have been in the past few games, they can actually use paralogs for, like, character exposition a bit more. Which I really enjoy, because... That thing about Seteth and Flane, I may have never known because A, I'm not using Flane right now. B, I also don't have Seteth working with us. And C, even if I did, I'd have to have them support together to learn that. Maybe they would have told us later in the story. But I'm just appreciative of how easy paralogs are to acquire and how much story they give you into each person's life. You know? Enough is enough. So now the Knights of Saros have been tasked with putting the bishop down. I thought you and your students could come with us. Why does everyone just want us to punch a bunch of nuns? What if the nuns start punching back? Aren't you afraid of punch nuns? <laughs> Catherine's like, Come on, Knox, that's freaking ridiculous. Why would a member of the church know hand-to-hand -hand combat? It just pans over to Seteth walking up to Rhea, and he's like, Excuse me, could you sign this? And Rhea just like judo flips him onto a desk. And she's like, Oh, Seteth, sorry, you scared me. I almost killed you and destroyed your jugular. Next time, please knock. Knox is like, Yeah, you're probably right. It's not like that exists. Why would you want us to help? Because you wield the sword of the creator. Lady Rhea is going to personally execute the bishop. I have been appointed as her guard. Of course she is. I want is. your help protecting her. So, what do you say? Will you come? You know, I've been wanting to tell Rhea maybe there are other, like, ways of going about this than execution, because that seems to be your... go-to for everyone, you know? You're not much for prisoners or questions or anything. You're just, like, problem? Execute them. Problem solved. Um, excuse me. I'd like to come along. Who are you again? <laughs> I just like, uh, Professor, I'm Ash. Who are you again? Ash, you were listening in? It's not up to you whether you can come along. Please, this is important to me. Your adoptive father, Lord Lonato, had connections to the Western Church. I understand that you want answers. But our objective is to punish, not to investigate. We can't let you jeopardize the mission. I won't get in the way. I promise. Hmm. What do you say, Professor? Keep in mind, we would be bringing the whole class, not just Ash. Let's do this. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess it's fine. Get ready, then. Get ready for the next challenger. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, it's just a bunch of more guys and just a bunch more religious figures. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Route the enemy, defend Rhea for ten turns. There she is. A sneaky little witch, trying to pass herself off as the goddess's envoy. Archbishop Rhea, I'll bring judgment upon you in the goddess's stead. They're using the fog as cover to ambush us. What a cheap ploy. It won't do any good to get annoyed, Catherine. That voice. We are up against a faction of bishops. 
They've shown themselves at least, so we won't have to go to the trouble of finding them. All right, you got a death wish? Come at me! You really want to fight against Thunder, Catherine? I mean, Catherine, you kind of are really underleveled right now. Please, Professor, don't let Lady Rhea get hurt. I'm, I'm trying my best. To wipe out all the enemies, but also to protect Lady Rhea. Ready? Enemies will advance within the fog. Protect Rhea for ten turns. Stay focused. I mean, I'm, I'm not afraid of sending Nox out by himself to just go do whatever. He's a really good Ready. scout for things like this. Let's get. I don't want to send people too far out, Ready though. There's a willing. few people who I don't really have to fear doing this to, who have some really high avoid. I can stick them in some trees or something. But there are others, oh, yeah. not so much. So we just have to be kind of careful about who goes, goes where and who's doing what. Dismount. Damn, our hit in here is abysmal. But look how little damage they do. How high is Ingrid's resistance? I think she's our dedicated mage killer. 19. That's pretty impressive. Why is her speed down? Oh, it's because of the... Uh, Oh, oh, it's because she's dismounted. Okay. Well, that's fine. Homie. I guess it worked out. Oh no. I'm a little worried about this. Well, let's see how this goes. That's a little strange. I only saw these few. Normally, I expect to see a billion of them all over the place. That's a lot of Cavaliers. Uh-oh. That's not great. Alright, um, in this case... Let's try and pick off one with Deadeye. That puts her to safe distance. Meaning there's only two left to fight, we could possibly get rid of one. Easily, we can get rid of one, actually. Because Annette is so powerful. By the way, I gave Annette the staff from the last chapter to increase her range, so... Oh, shoot. That Pegasus Rider came out of nowhere. Is she holding a mirror? No, she has a gigantic shield. Is that a relic of some kind? Let them attack Lady Rhea again. It's not my fault. They just kind of came out of nowhere. Okay, so what is... Rhea has the Saros Shield. A sacred shield linked to the crest of Saros halves monster damage, restores HP each turn. Protect plus five, and it only weighs three weight. And she has some sort of spell called Agnia's Arrow. With 16 might? Okay. Rhea, you scary. Having the Divine Pulse makes fog maps a lot less frustrating. <laughs> Some might say it may make it easier, but personally, I think a lot of fog maps are just a lot. At least your first time through. I find them rather annoying. I think they're cool ideas, but... Seems the number of enemies has arrived. Reinforcements must or increase. Reinforcements. Stop the reinforcements. You must find defeat whichever enemy is calling them. Okay. 
Well, I guess we'll just fly over Ready. there and kill them then. Let's send a small squad of people, like... I think honestly Claude and Ingrid should be enough to take care of whatever comes towards us. Sorry, but victory is mine. Here goes! <sighs> that worked out. Oh, Mastery Annette. At last. Oh wait, no. Lawrence learned fiendish blow because he mastered his class. Good job, Lawrence. Let's get to it. No hesitation. Oh my God! Coming over here was a mistake. Should I have held back? Ox, oh, there's so many. Returning back time. Goddess, have mercy. Forgive them their sins and save their souls. Yep. Rhea. Exactly. You can be merciful. It would have been better if we'd captured the bishop, but they didn't make it easy for us. What now, Lady Rhea? We must go to the headquarters of the Western Church. Perhaps there is still someone there who knows what has transpired. Let us help, too. It may not be much. But we'll do whatever we can. I didn't know that was an optional objective. I am sure you will be a great help. I am glad to have you by my side. Damn, okay. When it said I had one turn left, I thought it meant I had that last turn and then another. But you know what, that's fine. We got a critical ring. A ring that increases crit rate. What if I just... What if I just handed this to Ignatz? What if I just gave it to him? Yeah, Annette was destroying people. Her accuracy is really great. Thanks, Professor. I really appreciated your help with the investigation. No problem. That's it for today. Head back to Garrig Mach. The church will have to choose a new bishop and do whatever else is necessary to rebuild the Western Church. Lady Rhea is grateful to all of you. She said she would send along a reward. You should feel very proud. Receiving a gift directly from Lady Rhea is exceedingly rare. Still, that was a real mess, huh? For them to come out and charge us so boldly. I'm glad we made it out. As am I. We kept Lady Rhea safe, thanks to you. Hey, where did Ash go? I haven't seen him for a while. Mm. He couldn't still be back there, could he? That may be it. I hope he's not getting in the way. There you are, Ash. We were just talking about... Why the brooding expression? Hey, what's that bundle of papers in your hand? This was given to me. It has to do with my family. Is it about Lord Lenato? I haven't finished reading it all yet. But I think it might offer some clues about something I need to know. Professor, Catherine, thank you for letting me come with you on this mission. I'd better get ready to go. Ash, I don't know a lot about you, but you seem like you're a man on a mission. It's a little painful to watch. I do hope that those papers, whatever they are, will help him get over his past. I suppose it's time for us to start heading back to the monastery. And next up is the last mission for the month. Or is it even a mission? I think it is. There wasn't any like big investigation like there normally was, so... Oh? The time has come for the annual ball, but first, an eve of merriment. 
Okay, I'll admit it. The officer's academy isn't as uptight as I thought. Yeah, sorry guys. You're gonna be wearing these at the ball. <laughs> it's gonna be- it's gonna look a little silly, but at least I can identify you. Ooh, I adore such things. Dancing is the only thing I'm really good at anyway. There's a feast tomorrow, isn't there? Isn't there? Oh, I can't wait a moment longer. <laughs> Dancing? Singing? I'm not good at either of those things. So? Dancing is fun! Oh, and remember that you can't dance with the same partner multiple times. It's tradition. That means you have to dance with all of the gentlemen in all of the houses, swapping dance partners as you please. How scandalous. <laughs> I, for one, plan to simply behold the pure essence of dance. What does that even mean, Lysithia? I'll, um, watch. From a distance. At least you're coming. You can't just watch, Marianne. If a boy asks you to dance, you simply must accept. It's only polite. You can ask anyone to dance? God, whatever should I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lucky you, Ignatz. Tomorrow, if only for a day, you may live out your dearest dreams of an exalted existence. As for me, I am surely to be overwhelmed with the propositions of desperate ladies. I will doubtless have little time for partners of my own choosing. All right, what do you say, Lawrence? Which one of you is dreaming now, Lawrence? Everyone, listen up. To no one's surprise, I have a brilliant idea. Teach, you'll want in on this too. Oh no, you have an idea. I feel like everything bad that happens in this house starts with Claude saying, I have an idea. What's your idea? This may sound impetuous, perhaps irresponsible, almost certainly impossible. Go on. But we're gonna do it anyway. In exactly five years time, let's promise to meet again, right here at the monastery. A reunion. There's usually food at reunions. Count me in, Claude. That'll be awesome. Five years from now, it will be the monastery's Millennium Festival, celebrating 1,000 years since the founding of Garrig Mach. I hear the Millennium Festival will be the largest celebration in the monastery's history. Oh, I get it. It'll be easier for us to all get back here with the Millennium Festival as an excuse. How true. As the new leader of the Alliance, I will certainly have occasion to attend and pay my respects to Lady Rhea. That almost certainly will not transpire. And you teach? I guess it's hard to imagine that you'll still be teaching here five years from now. I don't know, honestly. I don't know what else I'd do. But I'm sure no matter where you end up, you'll come running at the chance to see your adorable little golden deer again, <laughs> right? You bet I will. I don't know. Probably so. <clears throat> that was your cue to promise everyone you'll return. Go on, <laughs> set a good example, Teach. If you promise, everyone else will too. <laughs> I'm already excited. After five years, we'll all be whoever we're going to become. Please, Professor, invite Captain Gerald, too. I want to show him how well his apprentice turns out. All it's right. It's settled, then. What do you say, Claude? Is it official? The promise is sealed. That means we're all obligated to keep it. Five years from today, all of us will meet again at the monastery. <laughs> I feel like Dot just cuts his hand, and like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, we're not making a blood pact? Well, this is... this is really awkward. I'll just, uh, I'll just go, uh, clean up then. <laughs> Don't forget it, Teach. You and I will meet here again. You got it. Of course I'll see all of you again. What's this day? It's a cutscene! I don't know how I feel about these 3D cutscenes. They don't exactly look good, but they don't look bad. Am 
Am I dancing with Claude? Is that what's happening? Oh, I thought I was dancing with Claude. Please tell me I am. I will take that dance. <laughs> Running away? R no. I understand. You hardly had the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. <laughs> poor, poor professor. Uh, it is difficult. So you do think you're the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I might have known. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. Ah, I see. The goddess tower waits for you. Wait, the w oh yeah, that. Yeah, I, f I didn't choose a thing. At least I don't think I did. It's gonna look goofy as all hell wearing the weird outfits we are. So who's gonna show up? What's that? Okay! I'm not a ghost. It's just your professor. I knew it! I said, Bernie, this place is haunted. You'll just get eaten by the ghost of some dusty old professor or... Oh. <laughs> you. No, I am a ghost. Claude killed me during the dance. <sighs> right. I'm better now. Thanks. But try not to scare me like that again, please. With the ball happening tonight, I was sure there wouldn't be anyone here. And from far off, you look... Well, you kind of have a spooky silhouette. Fair enough. I have been told. I guess you haven't heard the legend. Legend? Oh, so if a couple swears a vow on the night of the ball, the goddess grants their wish? That's amazing! Is it true? I don't know. I guess that's the sort of thing you miss when you spend all your time avoiding people. <sighs> But wouldn't it be nice to spend some time alone with a nice guy in this lonely tower, cut off from all the rest of the world? Anyway... Oh, Professor! Since you're here and all, could I ask you for a favor? Sure. As you probably know by now, it's my lifelong dream to live in solitude forever. I don't know if I support that dream, but... go on. So, could you help me to swear that vow? <laughs> nice try. Saw right through me, huh? Ah, oh, well, no use complaining. Actually, I'm happy I got to see you here tonight. Even if it was just by coincidence. Would you mind staying a little longer? It's nice and quiet, and the sky's really pretty. I quite like the atmosphere. On a night like this, being out in the open doesn't seem so bad. Agreed. Well, that was a nice cutscene. It seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? <sighs> I'm tired. How dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you... <laughs> do as you will. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna possess you. Wait, you're gonna what now? <laughs> They just see, like, they just see, uh, Nox, like, stiffly walk back onto the dance floor, and they're like, Professor? And he just starts immediately breakdancing. <gasps> Lady Ray and Sateth are like, what is this? Is this some sort of ancient ritual that defies the church? I will look into this. And he just, like, looks over, and he sees, like, Claude flossing, and he's like, Oh no, they have all discovered new combat techniques. They can be used in dance as well. I should note this down. I will study this dance. <laughs> oh, you're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. Uh, Rhea. Hmm, I'm bored beyond compare. Will you not follow her? Sure, I'll just go stalk my boss. Sure thing, Sophus. It's not weird at all. I have no reason to. Oh, come on, hurry up. 
I know that you are curious to see what she is up to. I hear someone singing from over there. Over where doing what? Nintendo, please don't copyright this song. Yes, this is a very nice picture of Rhea. That song. I feel that I have heard it in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. I... Did I once sing that song to someone? No. There's more. I wrote this song. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... She's no, really old. No. I am suddenly so exhausted. As are you, no doubt. Quickly then, to bed with you. Yeah, it's kind of come to me that Dad and Rhea are way older than they appear. I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to think we might even be, like, a child of Rhea instead of having an actual mother. And, like, her death was fake, but it's kind of a stretch. But that wouldn't make any sense. Why fake Rhea's death, but not, uh, Gerald's? Like, eh? There's no real reason. Anyways! <laughs> so it's time to do some certifications, if we can. What? How come Nox still can't be a freaking warrior, or not a warrior, grappler? He needs an A rank in brawling. He currently has a... only a C, actually, because I don't get to use him too much, because I try to give my students so much XP. I'll focus next month on getting him promoted to this advanced class. Meanwhile, Claude does have a chance to become a wyvern rider, and I kind of want to take that chance. Holy crap, he actually did it. <laughs> I did pretty well. Yeah. Well, that was good. Lawrence can actually become a paladin right now. Is there a level requirement for being a master class? No, but he is getting there. Like, he just needs to study writing more and more reason. He'll get there. Meanwhile, I could promote him to a paladin, actually. He actually has a really decent chance of it, but I don't think he'd be able to use magic. So... Meh. Leone can become a paladin for sure, though. 100%. Stat bonus. Some res. Hard work's paid off. All right. Uh, Bernadetta... I don't think they're even close to becoming a dancer yet. Or, no, I actually can just switch them to be a dancer. They already got it, I just haven't done it yet. Felix, can you become a Myrmidon yet? I am baffled that you can't, or a Swordmaster. Oh, it requires an A rank in Swords. But you have a B, so you're getting pretty close. And that's pretty close. Hilda? You have a 66% chance to become a Warrior. Let's try it, why not? Hey, it worked! Ha oh, shucks! I guess I did it! So now she's a warrior. 
This is going more smoothly than expected. I expected to fail all of these. All right. And now let's actually reclass Bernadetta into a dancer. Class change. Will this suit me? I don't know, will it? All right, yeah, I know this is gonna be a really short episode for today, but up and coming we have to investigate the old chapel, which it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of plot important stuff going on, so I don't wanna cut any of that out. Following that, it's the test's birthday, but yes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a fun one to record. There was lots of combat that... I actually wound up using the Divine Pulse a fair amount, but, you know, that's because... More because fog map and less because I couldn't... I was bad. <laughs> Anyways, if you liked the video, please leave a like, and next time we'll be doing this new thing. See you later. Red and out.